हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड वी विल सी दैट हाउ इट वर्क्स एक्चुअली एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस वी विल चेक दैट विच टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स कम इन द लास्ट इन अवर पास्ट and uh, how the computer grows in the uh, in uh, consecutively in the future so in this case we will learn about the historical development and first through fourth generation of the computer definition of the computer is to computer is a programmable machine and we have already talked about that what is the computer actually and in our last slides i have told you that uh, how computer works and uh, what are the main components of the computer so computer is a device which is used for the com calculations and uh, computations okay so basically there are some there are some uh, of the definitions provided one is the computer is a programmable machine another is computer is a machine that manipulates the data according to its uh, list of instructions so we have to provide some instruction to the computer that uh, with the, the operands what to do and according to the instruction the computer works on accordingly okay next is computer is it is any device which aids a humans in performing various kinds of the computation or calculation three principles characteristics of the computers are it responds to a specific set of instructions in a well defined manner for example if i will provide a instruction of multiplication then it will multiply the two operands and if i will not provide one operand then it will provide an error right and uh, so this is the uh, this is important that to provide the instruction to a computer next it it can execute a pre recorded list of instruction so what we do it is known as also it is also known as program so there are some list uh, pre recorded list of instructions and we have to provide it in the memory and then it works accordingly on the operands so it can quickly store and retrieve large amount of the data so we can store and retrieve the data in the memory and it can it uh, helps us to uh, take the data from a list and uh, to store the data to a list so it is uh, uh, a well defined computing system for uh, to complete our uh, and to complete and simplify our task and these are the principal characteristics of the computing system and definition of a computer system so now let's see that uh, how it develops actually in our in our past so earlier computer originally uh, originally calculations were computed by human beings uh, whose job title was computer these human computers were typically engaged in a calculation so cal uh, these humans com uh, computers were typically engaged in the calculation of a math mathematical expression so one human being was uh, uh, appointed for the calculation for the typical mathematical calculations and uh, for this a uh, complete course were uh, there and uh, uh, the human being have to do a complete course on computing uh, on computing system and uh, um, and or you can say cal for the calculations of the uh, of many things so this human being is no this human being was known as a computer okay the calculation of this period were specialized and expensive requiring years of training in the mathematician mathematics the first use of the word computer was recorded in 1613 referring to a person who carried out calculations or computations and the word continued to be used in that sense until the middle of the 20th century so that is the earliest computer means earliest computer was a human being whose name was computer that is the thing actually next we have tally sticks was an ancient memory aid uh, device to uh, record and uh, uh, document numbers quantities or even messages so tally sticks were used for the computing system as a computing system 
so nest is an abacus is mechanical device used to aid an individual in performing mathematical calculations abacus was invented by babylonia in 2400 bc these all things are for your knowledge and that is only for your knowledge that how the things were developed in terms of the computing system so the abacus in the form of a, um, in the form we are most familiar with the first with the first used in china in a around 500 bc so it is uh, it used to perform basic arithmetic operations so this was the abacus and uh, this is a modern abacus this was the earlier abacus was used for the uh, normal arithmetic operations and next is napier bones napier bones uh, uh, invented a uh, invented a simple uh, you can say this type of uh, device and uh, there is there are some rolling blocks and these rolling blocks were adjusted to calculate the operands and this is in napier's bones and uh, these uh, this uh, uh, the, the napier's bones was named at the uh, at the name of the famous scientist jean john napier so we can do the multiply divide calculate square and cube roots by moving the rods around the placing them in a special constructed bo boards so that is a napier bones cal calculator or computer next is slide rule slide rule were uh, this is a device for the slide rule and in this case we there is a you can see that there is a one slider and this is slide slider is used to che uh, check uh, the arithmetic operations for example multiplication division roots logarithmic and trigonometry and uh, not normally used for addition or subtraction it is used for the logarithmic approach so uh, this was used for the uh, for the uh, multiplication and division and uh, this was for the logarithmic operation and trigonometric operations and uh, this was uh, invented by william ordered now pascaline was used by the uh, blaise pascal and it was limited to the addition and subtraction and it was too expensive also so these are some of the basic very ancient computer systems that which are used for the computing so next is gottfried wilhelm leibniz in 1672 invented a stubbed reckoner and uh, this is this was also used for multiplication subtraction and division purpose it uh, it can be used for the automatic it can it is a, it was a mechanical device and it can um, provide um, uh, an automatically output of the addition subtraction multiplication and division so next is uh, jacquard loom and he is a mechanical loom and uh, invented by joseph mary jacquard in 1881 and uh, jacquard loom was invented by joseph morilla jacquard and this was uh, used for the uh, calculation of the mathematics mathematics and it was an automated machine so arithmeter was uh, used by the thomas d colmer and he invented it for the uh, in 1820 in 1820 the first reliable useful and commercial use uh, successful calculating machine was arithmeter and uh, the machine could perform the four basic mathematical functions the first mass produced of calculating machine next is the difference engine and analytical engine engine was used by um, uh, charles babbage and he uh, he invented these two things for uh, the analytical engine and difference engine to calculate a lot of things in it was the first mechanical computer our first uh, computer programmer was uh, agusta ada byron and uh, uh, suggest to babbage that he is used the binary system and she writes uh, programs for the analytical engine so this was the analytical engine and uh, uh, agusta ada byron writes the program for that for this analytical engine so this were the first uh, mechanical computer computing system shoshian calculation calculation engine was invented by per george shoshze and uh, it was a printing calculator also it can provide the output in terms of the printing pr uh, in terms of the printing uh, 
uh, output and uh, it was very well used in the uh, in the market next uh, a tabulating machine was used by the Hammond Holly Hollerith and uh, it was uh, uh, used to assist the summarizing information and accounting next uh, above mark 1 first electromechanical computer was used by the Howard H. Aiken and uh, Z1 was the another computing system and uh, that one requires that uh, and uh, was invented by Con uh, Conrad Zeus in Germany in 1936 to 1938 to program the Z1 requires that the user insert a punch tape into the into a punch tape reader and all the outputs were was uh, also generated through punch tape so input and output was punch tape and was used in the Z1 computing system next is uh, uh, the Atana soft and Berry computer it was first electronic digital computing computing device and it was invented by Professor John and Atanas Sof and uh, uh, graduate student Clifford Berry at Loa State University in between uh, 1939 and 1942. NEX stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer and NEX was this computer which you, have, you can see in the picture. It was the first electronic general purpose computer and completed in 1946 and developed by John Presser, Presper Eckert and John W. Malchi. So Univac and Universal Automatic Computer 1 was the first commercial computer. This, is, this was the first com commercial computer you can see here. And it was also uh, developed by J uh, Eckert and Moshley. And electronic discrete variable automatic computer, this you can see in the picture. And the first programmable, uh, the first stored program pro computer, the designed by von Neumann 19, in 1952. It has a memory to hold uh, both a stored program as well as data. Actually, uh, pro stored program memory was uh, invented by Eckert and Moshley, and now it was it was used by von Neumann and von Neumann used an architecture which was very popular in now which is very popular now these days next is the first first portable this is the first post portable computer and it's was osborne one the first portable computer that released in 1981 by the osborne computer corporation so it was the first company by, by founded by eckert and moshley in 1949 the company name name was uh, uh, electronic controls company so now the generation of the computer starts to come after this 1940 uh, 1945 the first generation computer second generation computer third generation computer fourth generation fifth generation to today to future so in 1946 to 1958 it was first generation 1959 to 1964 it was second generation 1965 to 1970 it was third generation and 1971 to today till today it is a fourth generation and today to future it will be the fifth generation of the computing system so the first computer used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for the memory and were often enormous in taking up entire rooms they were very expensive to operate and in addition to use using a great deal of the electricity generated a lot of heat which was often the cause of the malfunctions the first generation computers relied on the machine a language the lowest level programming language understood by the computers to perform operations and they do they could on uh, only solve the problems at a time input was based on the punched cards and paper tapes and the output was displayed on the printouts in second generation computers the transistors come in picture and uh, the all the vacuum tubes uh, converted in, uh, are replaced by the uh, transistor and the size of the transistor uh, of the uh, computing system reduced considerably and uh, these were the smaller faster and cheaper more eff energy efficient and more reliable and still generated a great deal of the heat and that can be uh, damage the computer so it was uh, a drawback of the uh, of the transistor used in the com second generation computer and uh, 
इन सेकेंड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर मूवड फ्रॉम क्रिप्टिक बाइनरी मशीन एंड लैंग्वेज टू असेंबलिक और असेंबली लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेजेज विच अलाउड प्रोग्रामर्स टू स्पेसिफाई इंस्ट्रक्शन इन वर्ड्स सेकेंड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स एज स्टिल रिलाइड ऑन द पंच कार्ड्स एंड फॉर इनपुट्स एंड प्रिंट आउट्स फॉर आउटपुट दीज वर ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट कंप्यूटर्स दैट इज स्टोर्ड देयर इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम देयर मेमोरी विच वर विच मूवड फ्रॉम द मैग्नेटिक ड्रम टू मैग्नेटिक कोर मेमोरी टेक्नोलॉजी इन थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर द आई सी कम्स इन पिक्चर एंड द हॉल मार्क ऑफ द थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ द ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड आई सीज आर द इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स इन विच लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ सर्किट्स आर फेब्रिकेटेड ऑन ए सिंगल सिंगल सिलीकन चिप सो ट्रांजिस्टर्स वर माइनेचराइज एंड प्लेसड इन ऑन द सिलीकन चिप्स वर्ज कार्ड द सेमी कंडक्टर्स विच ड्रेस्टिकली इंक्रीज द स्पीड एंड एफिशियंसी ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स much smaller and cheaper compared to the second generation computer and it could carry only uh, carried out the instructions in billions of seconds so it was very much used by the industries the users interact interacted with the third generation computers through uh, through keyboards and monitors and rift in an interface with the operating systems which allowed the device to run many different applications at one time with the central program that monitored the memory computers for the first time became accessible to a mass audience because they were smaller and cheaper than their than their predecessors so the fourth generation computer comprised of the microprocessor the brought the fourth generations of the computers as the thousands of the integrated circuits were built onto a single silicon chip as these small computers become more powerful these they could be linked together to form networks which eventually led to the development of the internet so internet come in the picture after the fourth generation of the computer and it was it becomes more popular after the fourth generation of the computer so fourth generation computers also saw the development of the gui's and the mouse and the handheld devices so laptop comes in picture after the fourth generation computers Be- fifth generation computers is based on the uh, artificial intelligence or ai so still is in development the use of the parallel processing and superconductors is uh, helping to make artificial intelligence a reality the goal is to develop the devices that responds to a nat- natural language input and uh, are capable of learning and self reco- self organization there are there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today so these were the some of the uh, generations which were important for us and uh, next i will tell you uh, that uh, how the moore's law come in the picture and uh, how uh, what is the moore's law and how moore's law uh, provides us uh, some future of the ics and uh, how it was a uh, uh, you uh, it was used and it can be seen in the uh, in the miniaturization of the technology of the vlsi design and ics and uh, thank you for this lecture next we will check the moore's law thank you